everybody. Just woke up. Gotta get up and do my daily chores. I gotta turn that off. <laughs> Other things that I have to do. Uh, take care of our chickens, which I'm going to show you right now. swim in this and when that's filled up with water it's not too floods loose in that. But what we usually do is just need to catch that. What we usually do is give them food and water. Come over this. Siren in the background. It's Evelyn playing with her fire truck. What are you doing? Can you smile? No? Okay. This is mine. So now I start I'm doing math. to be starting to work on my stuff. I'm gonna be working on my math which has which I'm doing um, division and multiplication. certain part of the book, the book and then eventually I get to the questions and then I answer those. Right? Yep. So, so when I look at like this, the, um, the camera's here and I look at myself. So that's why I'm always looking at it. That way instead of there. That's what it should be. Today we are studying with Gage's homeschool day. Um, it did not go as we had planned. Our day kind of just took, took over us. It's already after 11 o'clock and we are just filming now. Gage kind of filmed a little bit of his school um, beforehand and some of his stuff that he does outside. Did you do all your chores or just some of your chores? Did you do any chores? I did chores, yeah. Okay. Um, so right now, what are you working on now? Or what did you work on already? I did math and I just finished writing. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a, like a peek of what he already worked on. So Gage is gonna open up to what he already worked on. You're opening up math? Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's doing a lot with fractions right now. And then here's some of his work. He's working on multiplication, addition, subtraction, um, replacing the unknown with the solution. So that is what he is working on. 
Um, we're almost finished up with this book and then he'll be working on his next mass book. And then with that one, um, he will be using a CD to go along with it to, it's uh, like kind of like a teacher CD that can help him. Um, if I can't help him with some of the stuff, so that's kind of helpful with Matthew C that it gives you that option to use. And then right now he is doing, what is that, writing? or yes. Okay, so right. describing objects. So what did you have to write about? A uh, shoe. What, if you were to not know what a shoe is, what color would be? You're supposed to look at a shoe and think like you've never seen it before or known it. And it's, you're supposed to write down the color, the shape, the size, texture. So if smell, you were to talk to somebody and explain what a shoe what looks what like. A shoe looks like. Okay. Except you'd have to describe it as in like someone reading it. Okay. And making it feel like they have it in their hand. Okay, so now you're going to work on, oh, you did spelling? I did not do spelling. Okay, so what do you have to do in spelling? Spell. Spell words. What kind of spelling words do you have to do? Oh, you're just writing them out today? This, this is myth. Yeah. Misspelled. Yesterday, yesterday misspelled I wrote words. down things. Okay. Yeah, this is frequently misspelled words. Okay. And I just gotta write them down. So that's a little bit of Gage. Um, and then he oh, also is right videotaping down. his. Um, so that's nice him videotaping words. his stuff right now. So we'll put extra clips in there of what he's videotaping. And then I can also share some of the stuff that the other kids are doing. So these two over here are being rambunctious the whole entire morning because sometimes I can't just sit down with them guys and keep them occupied, so they just kind of play. Evelyn, what are you doing? Who? What? What? You're just going to do that? Oh, you think that's cool? What are you doing? Oh, you're jumping off of that. Wow. So, a little bit of that entertainment was with oh, Evelyn. Ah. <gasps> that would make it too easy. Okay, so these guys are being a little, a little crazy over here. So, we're going to ignore them because they're going to do school in a minute. And Miles has a question with his homework. So, we're going to come over here and help him. Okay, what do you need help with? Um, Rounding it to the nearest 10. So what would you do? What's the nearest 10? What, where would you go? Would you do 30, 40, or 50? 50. Yes. And then do the same for the next one. It would either be 60 or 70. Okay. So for Declan, we're just doing um, uh, dot to dot for him to recognize his numbers. Um, and with him too, it's more, so you go six, seven, eight. So sometimes just because it's a dot to dot book doesn't mean, you know, most people might be like, well, that kind of sounds a little easy for kids or whatever. But sometimes doing fun things is also a challenge for kids that don't still know um, what their order number order is. So I like to tie in extra fun stuff for them to do. And then not even that, it's just being able to draw a straight line. But with Declan, he's going to work on that and finish that up. We're going to be helping Hudson out with, is this language arts? Um, spelling? What do you need help with? Um, I need to figure out writing the blanks. To Write the science word next to the definition. Reaction to a dictionary from back in the day. I want reaction. Um, um, when I took it out, they said it was ancient. What else did you say? It's Egyptian. Oh, Egyptian. Oh, the yeah, they're yellow. like yellow. And yellow and just worn and torn. And my mom's paper. name is on here. My name is on here. Um, it's from 1991. Yeah, I used it in 1991. <laughs> yeah. Um, the pages are just, oh, my uncle. They my uncle used it. Uncle. 
Bobby used it in grade six. So that's cool. But I just told him, I'm like, if you look up stuff, to be very careful because it is so fragile. Okay, so he needs to look up. You need to look up what these words mean. So you're going to look up fuse. So you go to F. This is the first time my kids actually used a dictionary that we oh, had oh. to. So you go to F. And then, it's and then like you got to find F U. Oh, it works. A proton is? No. Do you know by the definition? Hold on. Okay. Okay. So one of the oh. words is proton. So he's got to look this it up, and we found it. This has a single electrical. Okay. So what does it say? A tiny particle carrying one unit of positive electricity. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you need to do. So see if you can look up the next words by yourself. What are you doing over here? She will find, anytime anybody walks away from their homework, she is right there to grab any of their stuff. So she stole somebody's pencil. Nope, don't do that. Um, the last couple of days have been really, really nice out. And where we live, um, it's like 60 some or something out there today. I'm not sure. But um, it is so pretty out here. The only bad thing is there's a lot of wasps lately. There's a little pumpkins from the other day. You guys should go check out our video um, on our pumpkin picking. Um, but it is so pretty out today. It's all sunny, blue skies. Oh, it's beautiful. The only thing is, is kids can't play out that much because of all the wasps. We were out here just before and we, um, Miles came out before and he took Evelyn down to the garden to go pick out some tomatoes and he ran up the driveway and he's screaming. He's like, he's getting chased by a bunch of wasps and dumped the stroller over and here's, here's the evidence. Stroller got tipped over and all our tomatoes are laying on the ground. All our tomatoes got laying on the ground because he flipped over the stroller. Evelyn was crying. Here's the sandals are still left here. Um, Gage came out to save us and, uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting chased by one right now. So let's go back in the house. But I just wanted to share with you guys on how beautiful it is out today. Evelyn's kind of sad because I went outside, but, um, let's get back to schooling. All right. What? What? What do you see? She's in that whiny what stage. Can you tell Papa, can I have a dog for my birthday? You want a dog for your birthday? Yes. 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 Evelyn's wearing one of the boys' old bibs that I made them. Right? <laughs> I got you a yogurt. You should put your cookie in your yogurt. You want a cookie in your yogurt? Why are you sucking on your thumb? Yeah, that's yummy. Taste it. Okay. Uh, I'll get you another one. You want another one? Yeah. Okay, you want to try it? Okay, we'll get you one. Okay, so what are you working on now? Uh, English. And what do you have to work on? I'm going to do 10. Uh, eight. Nope. A sense, uh, sentence structure. Sentence structure. Mm -hmm. Do you have to write it out? Like, do you have to diagram it or anything? I think so. Okay. It says. That's not diagram. I don't think I have. Wait, maybe. No, no diagram. Not, okay. Okay, tell me when you're done so I can come and look at it. Okay, what do you need help with? Um, it says to write a riddle. Down here, using the things to lift. Yeah. And I don't know how to write riddles, and these are the little riddles. Okay. Who baked? Okay, so this has to do 
relative pronouns we're working with Eli now. So like almost like a story sentence with using these in there, almost similar to what he what he did. Okay. So you could say the lady that owned the store baked pies. So you have to use all these in the sentence. So if it's whose uh, what did they do? The man who's apples. So you could do the... Whose pies are they for? What you have to say, you have to say something with it. The children's who... An example similar to this. You don't have to do pies. We could do books, bikes, games. Okay? We have okay, Declan's going to work on reviewing beginning sounds C, F, H, and P. Say the sound of each letter, then say each picture's name. Circle the picture whose name begins with the letter sound. So we have F. So we have foot, vest, and phone. Phone is a tricky one because phone does not start with F. Phone starts with PH. So we're gonna do H. That one is foot. Okay, and you circled that one already. So now you have H. So we have monkey, hat, and vacuum. Which one you has the H sound? Hat. 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 Right. So you're gonna circle hat. That's the weirdest thing ever. Evelyn's trying to entertain the boys over here while I teach Declan. laughing at her now so okay we're gonna get back to Declan so P P sound we have a balloon a pail and a rocket. Which one do you think is a P? Well, let's see. This is what his book looks like. Okay, so you have P, P, pail, balloon, and rocket. Pail, balloon, and rocket. P. Is it? Yeah, right. Pail. Today we are going to be making um, chocolate chip cookies. cookies from this guy. Cause yeah, Miles is gonna help. That was loud. Miles is gonna help. What we're gonna do first is grab the parchment paper. Parchment paper, we probably did a little too much. Cut this open, I will do that. Who am I gonna do that? Gently, you're gonna help me. You just wanna gently cut it open, not cut into the cookie dough. You cut this into, it doesn't need to be specific, it's just. You just have to. Is for me. And turn around. Him. Hello. We both go to, at our church, we have a thing that's called youth group where every Wednesday we go to this thing where it's just, I think it's like sixth grade, sixth grade and older. And we have, we have some snacks and then we learn. But that is what I am eating. That'll turn into nothing. <laughs> That'll so fry. You can kind of squish them also to get them to cook. Is that what I did? Is 
the proper word for it. Just spread them out. Spread them out a little. Okay, we're gonna need a pen. Get a pen! There you they go. Look all scrambled, but they will be go. good. And we time it for 3.50. For now, 12 minutes. And then we will I come back later and see if they're done. If you guys want more of a video of like them homeschooling, but the actual subject. So like, let's say you're needing help with your child with like um, maybe English and you want us to do maybe English study um, or like math study or writing or something that maybe will help you guys. That's kind of the whole reason why we want to do this channel is we want to be able to help other homeschoolers in every way of homeschooling. Now I'm not like perfect with everything, but I have just a couple ideas of maybe handling certain situations. I know we still struggle with like the little ones running around, um, extra noise and stuff during school, but that we're trying to figure out too. But otherwise it's more like, um, you know, helping with their subjects. So if you have any questions in that way, we, or I'm more than happy to just do a video or a sit down video with you with just me and a subject and I can help you that way too. Um, another thing that we don't always put on here is our Bible study. We didn't get to that yet today. We have a lot going on today um, with some other videos and stuff that we need to put out. Um, we got um, asked to do a review product for Instagram, so we're going to work on that today. Um, possibly some other ones for you guys. Some other fun ones are coming your way. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Yeah, we have another one coming. I don't want to tell them that though. We have a bunch of fun ones, like fun kid videos, not just our school videos, but we have a lot of fun with the kids. Um, like some more cookie videos, pumpkin videos, um, review videos, uh, DIY uh, videos, some more of them. Um, I want to do more outside ones, but with the weather, it's going to be kind of iffy. But anyways, um, I just hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to um, like our video down below so I know that you are liking our videos and that you want me to do more videos like this. And then also don't forget to subscribe because if you don't subscribe or don't hit the notification button down below, um, that won't notify or that will notify you when I do more videos. So you need to hit that little bell button down below um, and then also subscribe. Hope you enjoyed our video and I'll see you in the next one.